Hello there, this is a tutorial video on how to do the skip to get to this early island, early island, get to this island early, rather, in Eversummer Islands. This trick is usually one that's kind of hard for people who are just learning the game to do, because it takes, it has a few mechanics to it that you kind of need to understand how they work first before you can usually do the trick or do it consistently consistently rather so I'm gonna do a little step-by-step -step thing here and just give all the little tips I have to make this easy for you now the first thing that a lot of people struggle with with this trick is actually finding the spot to go to because when you catch this monkey they run down here they go down here and they're looking for it. Suddenly all they see is a bunch of brown and blue. They don't know where the frick the wall is. Now the thing is, our destination is right... By the way, okay. That corner up there. Now if you see here, the corner... This island, as it goes further out, it goes higher and higher. So we want to go for the very corner. Because, I mean, it's not only closest to our next destination, but it's also where the ground is lowest so it's the easiest to reach and something that helps with finding this corner is the seam right next to it going straight down this is very distinguishable and it kind of stands out the colors are very off so you wanna as soon as you fall down just look for that seam right here go to it and you see this brown patch right here you want to go for the very top of it right here. And if you notice when I land here, I like s I land on the wall for a brief second and fall off. And this is the first part of the trick called wall climbing. And slanted walls in this game will sometimes have little patches where you can stand for a brief moment of time. Sometimes there's like little patches where you can actually just stand stand even though it's doesn't look like you should be able to. You kind of can stand on it like a mountain goat, almost. <laughs> Anyways, for patches like this where it just automatically pushes you off, you're still able to stand on it for a long enough time that you can jump as soon as you land on it and not slip off. Now, for this trick, I would really advise going for the point, the top of this brown line, because this is where the standable ground is highest up. You can go to the left of it, like right here, but it's a lot lower, and it'll make this trick a lot harder. It's kind of like a triangle, where like, you can stand here, and it goes higher up where you can stand until it finally reaches the point on top right there. So once you do that, you want to flyer up, and I advise canceling the flyer before you get to the peak of it, because sometimes it can jam on the wall. And that'll usually push you away from the wall and not let you land on that spot. And another thing you want to do is you want to fly up. Like when you fly up, just push forward into the wall. And don't push forward the whole time. Like it, you can push forward the whole time and fall on it. But it seems to kind of... Uh, it seems to be counterproductive sometimes and pushes you away from the wall. So you want to like push forward until you reach like the peak of your flyer or when you cancel it. And then when you're falling, just don't hold any direction on the stick. Just let yourself fall in place. And this will usually put you right on the spot. From here on out, you just want to do... I would suggest just doing this a few times until you get a feel for this, but... Also start paying attention to how long it takes for you to land on that spot after you do this. And then you want to just kind of try and jump as soon as you land on that patch. And just get a feel for this because it's kind of imperative that you, be, that you can like jump off this spot. And when you get that timing down, it just turns into muscle memory so you can just jump as soon as you land on that patch. And from here on out, you need to just do a boost fly to get up. Now, the thing about this, though, is that you kind of want to move a distance away from the wall 
with the boost fly or else you'll usually jam the flyer on the ledge which sometimes this will let you get the trick but a lot of times it won't as well so instead what you want to do is get a good boost fly so you get high up move away from the wall with it and then kind of inch back forward so you grab the ledge so you kind of scoop around the the ledge so it doesn't jam your flyer so you just want to do all the other steps before and once you land on that patch just jump back a tiny bit like just double jump like a couple inches away and then oops, fly straight up and then hold forward like don't start moving forward with the flyer until you're like on your way up and what you want to do is you want to aim for this corner like I said because it's the lowest part here but you don't want to aim for the very corner because you can't actually grab it there. If you see here, like, I fell. You actually kind of want to aim next to the corner, like right here. If I can get this. If you can see, like, here, even if I'm moving in the corner, the closest he can grab it to the corner is actually kind of a distance away from it. So it's, like, right there. Now if you jam your flyer trying this, then it means that you didn't move far away enough from the wall. You got it like that. If you didn't get enough height to grab the ledge, then you just need to do a better boost fly, which I can't really instruct you on that. You might be doing it too fast or too slow with how quick you switch to the flyer. You might also be taking too long to spin the stick after you switch to the flyer. That's just something you'll just have to figure out on your own. I can't really... That's just like a whole nother issue that I can't really tell you what you're doing wrong just by seeing you do it. You're just gonna have to get the feel for that. Anyways, um... I guess the only thing left I have to explain about this trick is that wall climbing is kind of finicky in this game. So if you just keep sliding off the wall uh, don't feel too bad. It's just kind of something that happens anyways. But I have found that if you just fall in place, it makes it a lot more common. To, or it makes it a lot easier to actually land on it. I can't get it now. <laughs> ah, what is this? Anyways, I think that's all I have to say about the trick. Um, I would definitely advise that anyone learning this game should learn this trick right away though. It's kind of weird to do, but it's definitely something you can get pretty consistent at. And it saves about like 40 seconds, because if you didn't do this you'd have to catch that monkey, swim all the way out here, hit that button over there, go through that door, and then you'd go through a really long section where you're swimming and waiting for all these like razor blade things. And then once you did that, you'd end up over here on the bottom. You'd fall down there, and then you'd be on the bottom floor, so you'd have to catch those monkeys, then go up there and do all that section, and then finally get up here. Like it's just a giant detour. And it's just, I don't know, I would say it's possibly harder. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. And if you still are having trouble, I'm not sure what else to say. Feel free to leave a comment if you need some more help. Thanks.